The play The Proposal is about the tendency of wealthy families to seek ties with other wealthy families to increase their wealth by encouraging marriages that make good economic sense. In 19th century Russia, marriage was a means for the rich landowners to expand their estates. For them, marriage was an economic transaction. The Proposal is an entertaining play. Let us delve into the plot in the form of a story. Chibukov was a rich landowner and had a daughter, Natalia. She had reached marriageable age. Lomov, a 35-year-old rich landowner, who was also Chibukov's neighbor, visits their house. The purpose of the visit is to ask for Natalia's hand in marriage. Chibukov welcomes Lomov. He suspects that Lomov has come to borrow money and decides not to give him any. Lomov beats around the bush for some time and then mustering his courage says, The fact is, I've come to ask the hand of your daughter Natalia Stepanovna in marriage. Chibukov is really excited to hear Lomov's intention. After all, Lomov was a rich landowner. He readily agrees to the proposal. Lomov then hopes to propose to Natalia. Chibukov reveals that Natalia too would be happy with the proposal and goes to call Natalia. Once alone in the room, Lomov started having a conversation with himself. His reflection revealed that he wants to marry Natalia because she is an excellent housekeeper, not bad-looking and well-educated. He is 35 already and his physical health requires him to have a stable life. His speech and body language reveal that he suffered from palpitations and panic attacks. Amidst his monologue, Natalia enters the room. Lomov is nervous. After exchanging some pleasantries, he gathers the courage to initiate the proposal of marriage to Natalia. In his nervous attempt to propose to Natalia, Lomov brings up the discussion of the oxen meadows. Both of them forgetting the pleasant conversation are now entirely consumed in this furious argument about the ownership of the property. A series of accusations follow. Natalia calls Lomov a land grabber and Lomov also leaves no stone unturned to prove his ownership of the oxen meadows. Amidst the clamor of their screams, Chibukov enters and inquires the reason for the quarrel. Natalia tells him the reason for the discord. Whose side do you think Chubukov takes? Of course, Chubukov, a money-oriented man, sides with Natalia. Chubukov and Lomov start calling each other names. Lomov calls Chubukov a grabber and Chubukov calls Lomov a pettifogger. Natalia too joins this horrendous exchange of words. As the argument gets more toxic and heated up, Lomov apparently has a panic attack. With his weakened nervous situation, he finds his way out of the door while Natalia and Chubukov keep hurling awful words at him. The reason for the quarrel between Chubukov, Natalia and Lomov is their ego. Are you curious to see what happens next? Will Lomov still propose to Natalia? We After Lomov rushes out of the house, Chibukov happens to reveal that Lomov had come to propose marriage to Natalia. Natalia is surprised to know the reason behind Lomov's visit. Apparently, she also thought Lomov to be a suitable match as he was a wealthy landowner. She hysterically asks her father to call Lomov back which he reluctantly does. After some time, Lomov comes back and Natalia engages in a discussion with him to get him to propose to her. First, she agrees that Ogs and Meadows do belong to Lomov. Then she comes up with the topic of shooting to engage Lomov in a romantic discussion. Then, by another turn of humorously unfortunate events, they initiate a discussion on their dogs. Now, that's an emotionally sensitive topic. Who likes to hear that their dog is not the best? 
Now forgetting all about the topic of marriage, they again start arguing about whose dog is the best. Natalia is adamant that her dog Squeezer is the best, while Lemov is not ready to accept that his dog Guess is not as good as Squeezer. We all know now what is going to happen, don't we? Yes, Natalia and Lemov enter into another fiery debate. This time, the point of discord is not the Oxen Meadows, but their dogs. While they argue, Chubakov re-enters, and Nogis is here. He takes Natalia's side yet again. Soon, the three of them yet again get into a fiery discussion. Chubakov calls Lomov a fool. Lomov calls Chubakov an old rat, an intriguer. Both lose their tempers. Chubakov is nervous, and Lomov, as usual, gets a panic attack. and falls into an armchair Natalia notices Lomov and points him out to Chubakov she believes that he's dead and screams He's dead Ivan Vasilevich Ivan Vasilevich what have you done to me He's dead a doctor a doctor They try to bring him to his senses at first Lomov doesn't respond Then slowly Lomov gains consciousness. Chubakov takes the first opportunity to tell Lomov that Natalia is ready to marry him. He gives Natalia's hand into Lomov's and asks them to leave him in peace. Lomov in a state of chaos tries to comprehend the turn of events. With Chubakov's fatherly blessings, they kiss and fix the marriage. Natalia again brings about the topic of the dogs and a quarrel seems to be emerging between Lomov and Natalia yet again. Amidst the quarrel, Chubakov shouts at the top of his voice, "Champagne! Champagne!" to overshadow Lomov's and Natalia's voices. And this is where the play ends on a humorous note. <laughs>